Yaesu FTM 500D. Good day, YouTube. My name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Now in this video, I'm going to show you the specific resistor that uh, was identified to um, make modifications to your Yaesu FTM 500. Disclaimer, I take no responsibility if you happen to perform this modification and uh, you end up pulling the wrong diode and perhaps making your radio useless into a uh, brick. This is strictly for entertainment purposes only and to identify the specific diode for the USA model that people have been removing to open their out-of-band transmit on their Yaesu 500M. First step is go into your radio and make a memory backup of your memories and your configuration settings in your FTM 500D. Good old coffee in the morning. All right, so let's uh, open up the radio and I'm gonna show you where that diode is located. All right, so you're gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver to disassemble the uh, the top cover so remove your mounting bracket if you happen to have that attached to your radio and detach your microphone detach the front uh, what do you call this remote head so let's remove that there's a locking unlocking mechanism right here you just push that tab and it detaches the head underneath the head you have the Ethernet cable that's connected to the body that has to be removed so you just remove it from the body instead of from the remote head so that was attached to the control alright so that's it. This is the main body unit and um, I'm going to start opening it up. Looks like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight screws attached. Carefully remove the top. This is where the speaker is attached. Let me give you a closer look to the uh, where that speaker connection is if you happen to disconnect it. So that's where the speaker is connected. And uh, right there is a power cord. So we're just looking to the top left. Okay, I got my LED lights looking at the radio now. So here's a 35,000 feet view of the radio. All right, I'm going to come in and zoom in. And see where those two Ethernet connectors are? That's the front of the radio. So it's located in that vicinity. And right here, that one right there, I'm going to superimpose the video with the actual photo that I took. So that's the diode that they are cutting to open up your outer band transmit. Okay, now to reassemble. Really easy to do. Here we go. All right, power on the radio. All right, first thing you got to do is put in your call sign. All right, there it is. Rebooted. Um, since uh, 
I just got this radio. I haven't programmed anything in it, so I have no memories to restore. So if you wanted to restore, you would have to go to function. I don't have a memory card, but it's right there. Um, number 107, it's backup, and you would have to select backup and to restore. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. And um, like I mentioned, this is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I just wanted to point out the specific diode that the people out there that are uh, pulling, uh, whether they desolder it or they just flick it off with a, uh, an X-Acto knife. But uh, you're doing this on your own risk. You're voting your warranty. And uh, keep in mind, uh, I have no responsibility in this, just strictly entertainment. So 73s, my name is Darren, and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Have a great day. Drink some coffee.